Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Wooden Railway and I want to welcome you all to a Season 18 update video for Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Wooden Railway Adventures. Uh, let's get started with this update video. First and foremost, as usual, I want to thank you all so much for watching the latest season of my Thomas Wooden Railway series. I always greatly appreciate it. And in this season update video, I'm going to talk about season 17, which we just got done doing. I'm going to talk about the future with season 18 and everything in between. So let's get started. Um, I guess real quick, I want to talk about season 17, even though we just got done, you know, working on it and everything. Um, but I do like to be upfront with you guys. And honestly, season 17 really didn't start out the way I wanted it to. I uploaded like the first episode and then there was like a, a month long break, which wasn't intentional, but it does happen. And then from there, the first couple episodes after that first episode, um, I don't know. I just honestly wasn't too happy with those episodes. I don't really know why. Um, but as the season went on, I felt like, you know, everything kind of found its groove. And by the end of the season, I was pretty happy with where, you know, things had ended up. So season 17 was unique for, because just for the third time since I've been doing YouTube, I decided to take title suggestions from you, the fans. And I know most everybody out there isn't going to remember this, but back in 2019, so this is right after season 15 was released, um, I uploaded a video called, um, you know, taking title suggestions for season 17 of my series. And the idea there is that I already had ideas for season 16, but when it came to season 17, um, I wanted to get your guys's, you know, thoughts and opinions. So I allowed you guys to submit um, some episode titles. And of course, this was over two years ago, and I don't think too many people will remember it. But it was a YouTube video, and you could go on and comment, you know, an episode title that you had thought of. And I was really surprised by the turnout. I got like hundreds and hundreds of, you know, potential titles, and they were all really good. And I wouldn't say that for season 17, I chose like the 10 best titles. I chose the 10 titles that best fit the narrative of season 17, because as you guys know now, season 17 was a little bit different. We had, you know, the special titles that you guys submitted, but then the season in and it of itself was also kind of like a giant movie where everything was super connected and it was almost like you'd have to watch the the season from the beginning and not miss any episodes all the way through it's it's a very different way of filming a series than anything i've ever done before but in the end you know i think it worked out just fine and um actually in the previous season update video i talked about um this because you know people are always asking me you know make another movie it's been you know so many years since you've made a thomas Wynn railway movie and i get why people want movies but um, from my perspective as a creator, um, movies, while they're fun and I know everybody wants them, they're, they take extremely long to make um, and they're really not worth it in the sense of like the payout or the payoff and everything like that. So um, I've kind of gone away from movies with my Thomas Wooden Railway series, but in a way, season 17 was kind of like one giant movie, if you want to think about that, because all the episodes are super connected and it's really no different than me uploading like an hour and a half, excuse me, an hour and a half movie versus me uploading, you know, 15 Thomas Wynn Railway episodes and they're all between eight and 12 minutes or even 16 minutes in length. So that's just for some food for thought. And I haven't totally ruled out doing movies in the future, but I just want to explain, you know, the reasoning behind that. So that's pretty much season 17 in a nutshell. Of course, most of the season was spent working around these two people right here. The Admiral has always been a super interesting character to me because, you know, he got an official wooden railway figure, but not really a whole lot is known about him and pretty much nothing is known about him. And then, of course, if you're going to introduce a character like the Admiral, it makes sense to bring Sailor John back. And I wasn't it wasn't my intention, honestly. When I was planning this previous season to bring Sailor John back, I felt like that arc had kind of been concluded very nicely um, back in Saving Pirate Ryan. But, you know, it's just kind of one of those things like, well, if the Admiral needs an antagonist, it kind of makes sense to, to bring back Sailor John. So um, most of the season revolved around the Admiral and then obviously later Sailor John. And, you know, they had a bunch of, you know, it's kind of assumed that they had a bunch of battles off screen while Thomas and his friends are trying to control the railway and do their jobs and everything. So 
Like I said, the season started off a bit rough. I was actually not too thrilled with how things were going, but as things went along, it got a lot better, and I'm actually very pleased with how the season ended. I know a lot of people were probably expecting like a standalone movie or something like that to wrap things up, but it was always my intention to just wrap things up at the end of the season. So um, with no movie and just to do it in the allotted 15 episodes that I usually do. So anyway, that's enough about season 17. If you want to leave any questions or comments below, uh, please do that. But anyway, let's talk about season 18 because that's really what this video is about. So it is my intention, of course, everything I'm about to say in this video is subject to change, but it is my intention to start season 18 of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Wooden Railway Adventures on Christmas Day of 2021, which is from the time of uploading this video, that's only like six weeks. It's, it's less than two months at this point. So we have a pretty quick turnaround, but the good news is, is that I have a bunch of titles already, and I honestly have a bunch of the plots and everything like that picked out. And if, I know a lot of people don't really watch these update videos, but if you happen to watch the last one, you'll know that I said the exact same thing in the season 17 update video. I was like, okay, season 17 is going to start at the new year and it's going to run through the spring and we're going to cover all the major holidays in the spring because I never get to do that and blah, blah, blah. And of course that ended up not happening. So it is my goal and it is my intention to start season 18 on Christmas day of 2021. And then I want it to run through January. January, February, March, and even into April. Um, that will allow me to make some episodes that I've never done before. For example, the season is going to start with a Christmas episode, which are, those are always a lot of fun. I also want to do like a New Year's episode and um, let's see, like a Groundhog Day episode and a Valentine's Day episode. And as you go into March, there's even a St. Patrick's Day and April Fool's Day on April 1st. And um, there's even like Easter and Earth Day that I could do episodes about. So really like half of the season, um, there's going to be like these episodes that tie into the day on which they are uploaded, which I'm excited about because I don't really usually cover that area of the year with my Thomas Wooden Railway series. It's nothing intentional. It's just kind of the way it works out. So if things go according to plan, um, we will have a bunch of like, it's I don't really like to call them holidays because like, April Fool's isn't a holiday, but you know, like the special dates that everybody looks forward to on the calendar, we should have, um, I mean, like roughly, like I just, you know, set all those dates. It's like almost like half the season is going to be, you know, they'll have something to do with those special dates coming up and then the season will run into April or May or so, and then we'll go from there. Um, season 18 is going to be filmed on this layout that you see here. I'm not going to be building another layout because I have actually had really great success, I feel like, with this layout. We still have all the major locations, but um, one thing I've griped about in the past is that some of the layouts I build are not that conducive to filming. And so this layout was built in mind, with that in mind, trying to make it you know, a better filming experience for me. And honestly, that has helped so much. So this layout is going to be returning for season 18, definitely. Um, but I, I am gonna be planning another Wooden Railway layout video here um, in just a little bit, which is something I'll talk about later. So that is what season 18 looks like. I'm going to talk about a few other things related to season 18 at the end of the video. Um, but other than that, I think let's talk about what's going to happen in between. So we have a period of like six, seven, maybe eight weeks between, you know, this video and when season 18 is hopefully going to start on Christmas Day. And so I obviously don't want to leave you guys hanging. I want to give you guys something to watch. So I have a whole bunch of other video ideas that I usually put out in sort of the quote unquote off season. So in no particular order, um, one of the videos I'm going to be making is a giant big Thomas Wooden Railway unboxing video for 2021. Um, it's been over two years since I've done an unboxing video and it, I mean, it really hasn't been my fault because Thomas Wooden Railway was canceled back in 2017. And if they're not making any new toys, it's really hard to buy the new toys, new in box, and then to, to unbox them because, you know, they're not making the toys anymore. Um, but, you know, in the, in the past two years, since my previous unboxing video, I've gradually collected some things from off of eBay and everything. So I finally have enough items out um, in my possession that I can unbox all at once, and I can call it a Thomas Wynn Railway unboxing video, which I'm super excited about. I also want to mention, 
Um, in case you weren't aware, this, I mean, this is 100% true, Thomas Wood and Railway is making a comeback. Um, it looks like Thomas Wood has been canceled and um, Mattel is potentially, well, not potentially, it seems all but confirmed at this point that they are bringing back the Thomas Wood and Railway name. The engines are going to look a bit different. It's not gonna be like a complete carbon copy of everything that you see here. Um, but basically, Thomas Wood is dead, and they are going to be bringing back Thomas Wood and Railway. Um, and this is like almost like 99% confirmed as of the making of this video. There's listings showing up on Amazon and everything like that. So this seems like the real deal. So that's something to look forward to because if this range ends up being worthwhile, it doesn't end up being like a total waste like Thomas Wood was, well, then hopefully I'll be buying some more new inbox items and then we could potentially go back to some more consistent and frequent unboxing videos. So that's something to look forward to as well. Um, another video idea that I have in mind is, let me look at my cheat sheet real quick. Um, uh, one of the first videos I'm actually going to make after this video, it's going to be the usual bloopers and fails video for season 17, but then I'm going to take, um, this layout down um, and I'm going to do some cleaning down here. And then I'm also going to take the time to build a new track master layout. Cause it's been about two years since I've done one of those. So, um, I have been buying, you know, some track master things here and there or motorized or whatever you want to call it. And so I want to um, make a new TrackMaster layout because the last one I made was the outdoor layout, which was a lot of fun, but I'm going to build this one here in my basement and just show off you know, a bunch of the new stuff that I've got. So that's something I'm looking forward to as well. Um, I'm also going to be working on, speaking of which, Thomas Wood, um, I'm going to be um, uploading a video about Thomas Wood, and I'm not really sure how to describe this video other than it's kind of like an opinion piece slash like an editorial about the range, um, or you could even call it an obituary because Thomas Wood is dead. But basically, it's a, it's a video that I've wanted to make for a long time, and due to several reasons, um, when Thomas Wood was alive and kicking and being promoted by Mattel, I wasn't able to upload this video because at one point, um, I was actually technically employed by the company that made Thomas Wood, so it was kind of a conflict of interest for me to upload this video. However, since Thomas Wood appears to be, you know, canceled and discontinued and they're no longer making new toys for it, I feel like I can upload this video. And like I said, uh, excuse me, like I said, I'm not really sure how to describe it other than like it's it's going to be a long video that's for sure and i think it will be well worth your while so i hope you guys tune into that um let's see i have a few factory air videos that i want to upload i'm also going to be uploading um, my very first push along collection video which i know this is a thomas Wynn railway channel and some people don't really care about that stuff but i just thought i'd mention it i think i finally have enough push along items so that I can create like a push along collection because honestly it's kind of lame to just buy like 10 push along toys and line them up and call it a collection. So um, if things go to plan, I should be releasing a brand new, uh, the very first uh, Thomas push along collection video. And then I am also going to be uploading um, a visit to one train store, um, which is those are the types of videos I've uploaded before. I don't really want to give away any details because um, that will kind of spoil the video, but that, uh, that's something to look forward to. And then I'm also going to be doing another round of custom Thomas Wooden Railway model videos where I'm going to be uploading five new uh, videos that are dedicated to some new custom Thomas Wooden Railway models in my collection. Now, most of these um, have not been made by me. I've talked at length before about how I'm not really artistically inclined in that area, so I like to employ the services of other people. But again, it's been close to a year since I've done, since I've released any custom engines. And I don't really have other people make customs for me as much as I used to because a lot of the customs that I've won have already been made. Um, but I do have a few people working on some new projects for me. And so that is something I'm going to be released. Basically, the point of that is that I'm going to be releasing five new custom spotlight slash showcase videos um, before season 18 premieres. And then, honestly, uh, there's going to be a Season 17 compilation, which I know doesn't really apply to anybody who's watched 
season 17 because it's pretty much the exact same thing you just saw, but I thought I would mention it anyway. And then the final video, the last video I'm gonna upload before I start season 18 is actually a new Thomas Wooden Railway layout video, but it's not the layout that's going to be used for season 18. It's going to be a standalone layout that I'm basically building for the purposes of the layout video. And I don't wanna give away, you know, like any secrets or anything like that. Um, but it's going to be built in a way that I've never built a Thomas Wooden Railway layout before. And like once you guys see the video and the topic it's about and potentially where it's being built, I think you guys will kind of understand like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, but it's going to be like a layout that I'm going to build just for the video and then I'm going to take it down. And then immediately after that, I'm going to work on piecing this layout that you see right here. I'm going to work on piecing that back together with a few additions. So... Since I'm going to be using the same layout um, for two seasons in a row, there are a few changes I want to make, mostly just because I, I'm you know, constantly buying new items that I don't have in my possession. And so I do want to you know, include some new items that I've gotten. So this is the Wellsworth Water Tower. Um, this is obviously gonna go over in the Wellsworth area of the layout. This is actually an item I bought at the meetup this summer. Somebody sold this to me for a very good price. And I always thought this water tower was super cool. So you can look forward to this new destination or location or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is Trotter's Farm. It's just the building. And this is going to go over near Thomas's branch line. I don't really know where at this point, but it's hopefully going to be included on uh, in season 18. And then here's a bigger version of the water mill. Um, again, this came from like a bigger Thomas Wooden Railway layout that was made by Fisher Price. Um, but I always thought this was like a really nice piece, very reminiscent of what you saw in the TV series. So this will hopefully go somewhere on the layout. And even like, I'm not even sure like if I'm going to include this piece or not, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. So basically what I'm saying is that I do have some new destinations that I want to include. It's kind of like in the past when I've used a layout for multiple seasons, I usually make some changes between the seasons just because there are new things that I've gotten. So you have these items to look forward to. And then I was also talking about that Thomas Wooden Railway unboxing video. Well, that also includes like a couple of new items and new destinations that I might want to throw on my layout up here. So you, we are potentially looking at, you know, several new additions to the layout for season 18. And very quickly before this video ends, I was talking about season 18. Um, there are a few characters that are going to get some facelifts for season 18. Obviously one of the big parts of season 17 was that, you know, the railway was out of money and Sir Topham Hat couldn't make any changes. And one of those characters was Birdie. So Birdie is going to get a new look. Um, this, is the, this is the version that he previously appeared as all the way back in season 16. Um, but the reason I have him here and not the new version is because the new version is a surprise. It's going to be one of those custom videos that I'm going to be uploading um, before the start of next season. And then also Terrence right there. Terrence is going to get a facelift as well. If you follow me on some of my social media websites, you might have an idea of what's going to happen there. And then another character that's going to get a facelift is Molly. And this is a project I haven't yet started. So if it goes terrible and doesn't work out right, well, then Molly might be staying the same for now. But anyway, it's my intention to give Molly a facelift too. And then very quickly, one of the other changes I'm going to make is we have these two versions of Flynn here. This is the 2011 Tomy version that was released uh, for Day of the Deals. And then this is the 2013 version that was included um, in a two pack actually with Butch right there. And so I've always used that Tomy version of Flynn. I don't know why, simply just because it was the first version I ever had. And you know, when I bought him, I wanted the, ten uh, the tender and everything. So uh, this was the, the version of Flynn I've used since he's uh, appeared in my series. Um, and it's a nice version, but honestly, the face isn't too great. And that really wasn't something I ever was looking for. But um, a while ago, like especially around like the Saving Pirate Ryan era, when I was using Bell and Flynn a lot, I just got to looking at that face and I'm like, you know what? The Mattel version looks like, and it like looks exactly like it came from the TV series and it still has the red wheels. Um, but it was kind of challenging to find this version of Flynn. Um, I've looked high and low to try to find a version with a tender because of course, you know, Mattel released their own version. Um, but Mattel did this weird thing where like sometimes they would color in the wheels and sometimes they wouldn't. And based on my research and the pictures online, I haven't been able to find a 2013 Mattel uh, Flynn with like a Mattel 
tender or water tank or whatever you want to call that. So basically what I did is I went on eBay and I bought, this is actually used, it's in remarkably good condition. Um, and I, the, I didn't want to use the um, Mattel version with the black wheels because I really do believe the red wheels look superior. So starting in season 18, Flynn is going to look like this. It's just a minor, you know, change. It's like a facelift like I was talking about, but I feel like it looks better, but he is actually going to steal um, learning curve or Tommy Flynn's tender because I still want Flynn to have a tender. So we're going to break a few rules or, you know, whatever. Um, but I feel like this is the best way to move forward. So really appreciate Tommy Flynn for all his hard work over the years. But in the future, um, for my wooden railway series, we are going to be using, um, Mattel Flynn with, uh, Tommy Flynn's tender. I hope I said that right. So, um, like I, like I just mentioned, there's going to be a few changes. Um, in, in that regard, but honestly, nothing too major. And one other thing I just want to briefly, briefly mention, we didn't really have a whole lot of new characters last season um, because it was all about, like, Sailor John, or excuse me, the Admiral was, like, a big major new character. Um, but, like, the only other engine, new engine that was, like, released or, you know, introduced was Hurricane, and he didn't even really appear that much. So um, I just want to throw out there that I am planning on introducing a lot more new characters for Season 18. It's, it's going to be in, in the titles. It's already kind of part of the plan for season 18 so of course that's something to look forward to as well and honestly guys i think that'll do it so i really appreciate you guys i'm watching this very long video and as always i want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel it really means the world to me and i love making these uh, thomas Wynn railway episodes and i hope you guys enjoy them so season 17 was a little bit different season 18 is hopefully going to start on Christmas Day of 2021. And there may be a few episodes that tie together, but honestly, we're probably looking more at, you know, some individual separate episodes that really don't tie together. So we'll be going back to that for just a little bit. But if you have any other questions or anything else you want to talk about or bring to my attention in the comments below, please do so. But I think that's going to be it. So guys, I want to thank you all so much. Uh, for watching this season um, 18 update video. And like I said earlier, I really appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the next video. And I'll see you soon.